And so maybe what we'll do is quickly um, show folks um, some examples of what we're talking about, and then we'll we'll kind of get into how you came about this approach, um, and then maybe how you built some of the stuff so they can they can uh, potentially do it themselves. And so with that, I guess I'll turn it over real quick. We're talking about I don't even know what what do we what would we call this? We'll call this interior trim, interior finishes. Yeah, I call it finished carpentry. <clears throat> finished carpentry. Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that's why I kind of went through moldings and baseboards because it's kind of it all kind of yeah. all kind of folds in. But I guess what we'll do is maybe uh, your screen is shown right now, so maybe just show folks awesome. um, first what it looks like, and then and then maybe give them the uh, surprise reveal about how it's built. But but show maybe zoom in around and show them sort of some of the cool stuff and how how this looks <clears throat> in okay. in different views, and then and then we can kind of show them um, the secret about how it's built. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me go to maybe like a Victorian style. So this is kind of what we're talking about is like, if you've got, if you're an interior designer or like an architect and you're trying to do a bunch of like nice interior work and you need to lay out a bunch of, uh, wall paneling, or even, even if you're keeping it simple and just doing some base and some crown or some chair rail, or even like just the, the window or door trims. It can, it's like a, the bane of our existence to do this in Revit. Like there's not real good commands to get this stuff done. Mm -hmm. And depending on what you're doing and what, what the end, you know, product is, whether it's a drawing a rendering interior elevations, or just spinning around the 3d model for a client, you know, you, you kind of have to consider different techniques to arrive at some of these like finished levels of finish on the interior. 